You know, I don't mind getting up early in the morning, and I mean early, you know, 3.30, 4.30 a.m. when it's to go out and get someplace for a photography adventure, and that was what was going on on this particular day. Oh, I, I wanted to be at LaSalle oh, Canyon too. for sunrise, oh. and also because it was the weekend, I wanted to beat the crowd and have LaSalle Canyon to myself for a little bit. But when you're going to bed and you have to be up in like four and a half hours, this is not what you want to find. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am at uh, Starved Rock State Park in Oglesby, Illinois with my buddy Robert Waters. Check him out at Robert Waters Photography on YouTube. And uh, so what we're doing, heading down to one of the coolest canyons here at Starved Rock, hoping that the waterfalls are frozen. Uh, today, so the first one we're heading off to is called LaSalle Canyon. It's about a two mile hike. We've got a very, uh, a little bit of a foggy, misty morning and uh, should, yield some pretty cool photos especially if the waterfall in LaSalle Canyon is still frozen it has some snowpack around it and all that stuff lots of rain lately so uh it's uh you know it's gonna be hit or miss as to what we're what we get down there but uh, it's a beautiful hike and uh thanks for joining me so it really is a beautiful hike pretty much the whole way is along the Illinois River and you start out at the Parkman Plain parking spot and there's a long staircase that takes you down to the bottom of the ravine and you could go right and you could go to Owl Canyon and uh, go left and obviously the trail will take you all the way down to LaSalle Canyon and then Tonti Canyon as well. Our destination, as you know, is uh, LaSalle Canyon, but as you know, there's always places to stop and shoot along the way to your destination. And for me, this is always one of those places, this bridge, it's uh, relatively close to LaSalle Canyon and this uh, tree that overhangs the creek right here. I always stop here every single time I go to LaSalle Canyon and uh, I take a couple of shots. I shot these next couple of shots with my little Olympus TG4 point and shoot camera. Couldn't tell you what the settings are, but I'll tell you what, the best camera in the world is the one that you have in your hand when you need one. video a long time ago and it was called dying to get the shot and it was when I was trying to get to LaSalle Canyon without ice cleats and the conditions were terrible and I literally thought I was gonna die right here in this very spot all right apparently I just breathed onto the lens and fogged it all up but uh, you can hear the water now so obviously we're getting very close to LaSalle Canyon and uh, with all the rain and the higher temperatures we've been in 35 38 degrees lately so the rain in the higher temperatures has created a melt off and i'm sure the waterfall is going to be running running big but uh, here's a little wall, little one right behind me so uh so that's kind of cool but uh, yeah here we go just a little bit longer All right, we made it. Here it is, the South Canyon Waterfall. We, I was here, actually me and Robert were here a couple years ago, and the thing was completely frozen all the way over. You could go all the way behind it. I'll put a link to that video up uh, on, on this one. But uh, yeah, as you can kind of see behind me, it's, it's not just part of it's frozen, but the water is running big time. It's gonna lead to some really cool uh, longer exposure images. And, 
we do have some fog and some mist going on so it's gonna be hopefully we should be able to get some pretty nice landscape shots here today at uh, starved rock All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my D850 out, and I've got two lenses, 12 to 24 and 24 to 70. I'm gonna shoot the first shot from right here, right here off the trail. Use the river bank and the side of the canyon wall as kind of a leading line right into the waterfall. I wanna be wide enough to show the trees up above, uh, as well as the fog and the mist. So that's, uh, that's what I'm after, so here we go. So what I was seeing in my head certainly didn't turn out to be anything uh, worth shooting, to be honest. I really hesitated about showing you guys this picture because I really don't like it. The foreground is not interesting. Um, there's a lot of detail lost in the shadows, which I could pull back in Lightroom, but yeah, I'm just uh, disappointed with this image. So then I moved over to the right, uh, into the water really, and composed the shot that I was just talking about earlier and incorporated the background more and the fog and the mist and I really, really love these next two images I'm going to show you. The next one is very similar, just composed a little bit differently. I pulled back just a little bit to show more of the foreground. It always amazes me how just these slight macro adjustments can make such a big change in the overall image. Speaking of which, look at this next picture and how different it is just because I composed it to show more of the foreground and less of the background and you no longer have that big V bringing the eye down to the waterfall. So it's a drastically different image and it's not, in my opinion, not nearly as strong as the other two. All right, so now it was time to get wet, to get behind the waterfall and see what kind of images I can make back there. It's always a real challenge to get a good image back here because of the dynamic range of the light. You've got the bright light out in the sky and then you're basically in a cave shooting out towards that bright light. One of these days I'm going to bring a speed light and illuminate the interior part of the cave as well as the cave side of the ice fall. But for now, I am just taking multiple exposures and bracketing a little bit and trying to stitch those together to somehow retain some of the shadows. Hey, thanks for watching this far into the video. Hope you're enjoying it. If you are, give it a like. And uh, if you've not done so already, hit the old subscribe button too. Sit back, grab your favorite beverage, relax, and uh, just kind of vibe out to some scenes from Star Drive. Alright, so by this time I was pretty well soaked. My camera was dry, but the rest of me was soaked inside and out, but I still wanted to get a few more pictures of the uh, external falls, looking basically looking at the falls from uh, 
a distance. So I'm going to share those images with you here in just a second. Starved Rock is such a beautiful place to take pictures, especially in the winter time. And bear in mind, this is just one canyon. There's like 20 others to explore and to take pictures of. And you guys should see my playlist of Starved Rock. I'll put a link to it up. And I've got a bunch of different videos from Starved Rock. It's just a gorgeous place to take photos. So uh, check out my other videos if you get a shot. All right, everybody. Hey, that's going to do it for another video. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel. I really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to come see me on Instagram at Garrick G Photography on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook at Garrick Gillette Photography on Facebook. And you all know the drill. Hey, like it if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And ring that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And with that, everybody, we'll see you next time. Thanks again. We'll see you. Bye-bye. The gentle rhythmic sound of water has an innate ability to soothe the soul, transcending time and space to evoke a sense of tranquility within us. Whether it's the soft patter of raindrops on a windowpane, the melodic babble of a bubbling brook, or the rhythmic crashing of a frozen waterfall, Water's symphony carries a profound, calming effect. The sound of water invites us to surrender to the present moment, washing away our worries and instilling a deep sense of peace within our souls. It's a gentle embrace we find solace, renewal, and a connection to the timeless rhythms of nature. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.